welcome to Trina's Toxic Talk. Today, my topic is going to be on an ingredient that you might be familiar with. I was too well familiar with it because I suffered from acne. Benzoyl peroxide is found not just in over-the-counter medication, but it's also found in prescription medication for a, a very well-known treatment for acne. But I want to talk about some of the damage it can do to your skin and to your body. And the reason you might want to double check if you're using it. Benzoyl peroxide can cause free radicals in the skin as well as within your tissues. And what these free radicals can do is cause premature aging. They decrease the ability of the skin to heal itself, which is not what you want to happen when you have a breakout. During a breakout, you really want to have increased blood flow, you want to decrease inflammation, and you want to nourish that breakout so that it can heal and the inflammation can be gone. There has been a link between free radicals and cancer, so it's only safe to say that there's a possibility that benzoyl peroxide causing free radical damage could also cause cancer. Cancer happens when there is a mutation in the cell and uh, benzoyl peroxide has been known to cause mutations or DNA mutations. Once a cell mutates, a mutated cell will only replicate another mutated cell. If in fact it does replicate, it survives to replicate to another cell. And free radical damage can cause DNA damage and mutations. So if a cell does replicate, there's a possibility that it could replicate another mutated cell and cancer is an overgrowth of mutated cells. There's another problem with benzoyl peroxide. It is a known skin irritant. It also irritates the eyes and the respiratory tract. But as far as the skin goes, if you're putting something that's irritating your skin on a condition such as acne, then there is a possibility that you could be causing more damage than good. Irritation causes inflammation, and really with a breakout, your goal is to get rid of it and decrease inflammation. Um, benzoyl peroxide is a known skin irritant, so that's another reason why you would probably want to avoid that for any kind of breakouts. Another problem with it is that it causes over drying to the skin. Um, if you've ever put benzoyl peroxide on, you know that it actually dries that area out of your skin and causes you to need to apply moisture or whatnot. However, what you really want to do is feed that breakout nutrients and moisture because that's what's going to actually heal it. So um, what I really wanted to talk about is um, what you're looking for in a product for acne because I know there's a lot of people out there that suffer from acne all the way from teenagers all the way to adulthood. I was 40 years old and I still suffered from acne. And it wasn't until I took the benzoyl peroxide and threw it in the trash that my skin actually cleared up. And I actually create a product right now that does exactly what you want your acne product to do. What you're looking for is something that's going to help um, get rid of the bacteria that could possibly cause acne that lives on the skin or comes into contact with the skin. You also are looking for something that's going to contain ingredients that increase the moisture level of the skin, promote healing and overall health. Because don't forget, when you absorb something, it no longer becomes um, a localized place that you put it. It becomes systemic, which means that once it's absorbed, it travels throughout your body. So the free radical damage that I'm talking about doesn't just happen at that area, which that then prevents healing and, and, de and decreasing that inflammation that you want. It travels throughout the body and can cause this inflammation to happen anywhere in the body. What I did was I created Banished, a Banished Blemish Serum, and it's made out of oils infused with cayenne pepper. And cayenne pepper increases the blood flow to the area that you put it. And it causes a little bit of a heat, which is awesome, because you feel like you're burning that sucker away. But it also increases the blood flow. So once all those that blood flow is there, that nutrient-rich, oxygen-rich blood flow, I included essential oils and oils that promote healing 
and feed that area, that tissue that's just inflamed with ingredients that decrease inflammation, increase cellular turnover, and feed it the nutrients that it needs to heal. And I can tell you from experience that I have put that on a big juicy zit at night, woke up the next morning and didn't even know where that zit was. I, I could barely tell that it was there. So check your products. Look, if you're using anything for acne or your kids are using anything for acne, I urge you to look at the ingredients and see if benzoyl peroxide is listed. It's listed a three on EWG Skin Deep web website, which means it has some level of toxicity, a small level of toxicity um, in that ingredient. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you next time on Trina's Toxic Talk. This Trina's is Trina. Toxic Talk. And that's my daughter, Mia, who's been listening. So anyway, have a great day. Thanks for listening. <laughs>